If you're an influencer or creator that is posting on TikTok or Instagram and really trying to get brands to notice you, notice your content, and eventually reach out to you to work with you, then you're gonna love today's video because I'm gonna share with you some things that you can implement right away to kind of get on a brand's radar. Now, if you guys are new to our channel, I have worked on many influencer campaigns on the brand side, which is to say I have managed influencer budgets, creator budgets, reaching out to creators to put them on different jobs. Um, depending on my brand client's goals, right? And a lot of times I'm the one pitching to you guys. And I know that if you're not new to this channel, you know how much I talk about pitching um, and pitching so much, right? As you as a creator pitching to brands. But this video is a little bit different because I wanna share with you the brand perspective of what we're kind of looking for when we reach out to creators and influencers so that you can implement these strategies to get brands to even know you exist. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. And if you're new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you are kept up to date on all things creator economy, influencer marketing, and social media strategy. So let's go ahead and start with the first piece of advice that I can give to you if you're trying to get brands to notice you with the goal of having them reach out to you. When you're creating content, when you are thinking about what content do I wanna post this week or this month, are you thinking about this you know, from a day-to-day -day perspective, or do you have a plan? Are you being intentional and strategic with your content? The reason I ask is because if you are being intentional and you're saying, okay, for the next two weeks, these are the topics I wanna talk about, or this is what I wanna create content on, on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whatever, take some time to plan that content and ask yourself, is there content that I wanna make anyways that is part of my content pillars that my audience would enjoy that I could integrate a brand into naturally? And the reason I'm telling you this is because if you start creating content that also integrates brands into the story tell, it is easier than when, first of all, you do pitch to brands. And second of all, it helps the brands see what you can do with content, with product. This can work for you in so many ways. I'm gonna share with you in two perspectives, one from an SEO perspective and then the algorithm, but also just from a content perspective. So from a content perspective, if brands are following you or if you are you know, showing up on the Explore page or the For You page, and even if it's not a direct competitor or a direct relating to my product, I can still see how you make content, talking about different products and how you integrate things naturally. So this is really important, guys. Brands wanna be able to see themselves in your content. So make sure that you are creating portfolio style piece content, which can be really helpful when you pitch, but can also just be helpful for brands that stumble upon your page to say, oh, that's how she talked about, you know, this microphone. I wonder how she could talk about my, my ring light. You know, and again, brands are looking at your pages. You never know who's watching your videos or who's looking at your content. So you wanna, you know, create content that shares your ability to not only storytell, but to integrate brands into that content authentically and naturally. This is a really, really good tip. And then from a SEO perspective, from a search perspective, if you optimize your content, we made a video all about Instagram SEO. So if you haven't watched it, you should definitely do that. Now, if you think about it from a search perspective, let's just say I am on the Nike marketing team. I'm totally making this up because I am not on the Nike marketing team, but let's just say I was. I am probably following hashtags related to Nike. I probably have different social media listening tools set up at our company that can pick up when Nike is being mentioned online. We are tracking, we are listening, people are listening to what is being said about their brand. Now, you influencer come create content about my brand optimize that post from an seo perspective in the caption um in the body of whatever you know in the body of the caption or actually like even the text on the screen you're optimizing this post and now it lands on my for you page or now it lands on my explore page as the marketing person i am then now saying wow like this person magically appeared on my algorithm or on my feed. But in fact, that's how the algorithm works, right? Because if I'm on the Nike marketing team, chances are I'm engaging with, you know, other Nike content or other creators that are, you know, maybe in the shoe space or in the clothing space, whatever. And the algorithms know what type of content people engage with and they serve them similar style content. So you really wanna create content 
from a SEO perspective that is going to land in front of the people that you want it to land in front of. Let's just take YouTube, for example. I work on a brand account and I'm Googling ours, looking ourselves up to see what are we popping up for? We have Google alerts, maybe we're going into YouTube and we see a YouTuber made a video about our company and is giving it a review. From an SEO perspective, just by doing search, now you're popping up and I'm able to find you and to say, oh, this person loves our product already they would be a good fit a lot of times when we do influencer marketing campaigns at you know our company and when we're working with brands we try to find creators that already use the product because well for many reasons but one we don't have to educate them upon it they're already like you know our top super fans they already love it so it's a win-win for all now if you guys are interested in more like screen shares and more in depth on all these like seo tips that i'm talking about so that you can really position your content to pop up when brands are searching then definitely look into our how to get brands to notice you course it's a mini course it's about 2.5 hours super easy you could take it and really start implementing some really actionable items to get brands to land on your page to notice you to see you exist and have them reach out to you so this course is linked below and you can totally check that out because i think you will love it now my third tip that i will share with you if you're trying to get brands to notice you on instagram especially if you're smaller is engagement. You're going to want to make sure you're engaging with the brand that you want to get their intention, right? But think about engagement a little bit deeper. It's not just saying like, love this or cool pick on the brand's page. It's adding a thoughtful comment, or maybe it's going to their LinkedIn page or seeing, you know, on their blog, you know, making these sort of thoughtful comments um, and engaging with people on the brand side there, it kind of, again, gets them to notice you. But what's important here? What is the most important part of this, of the engagement? is making sure your page is optimized to receive them. Okay, and this is why this is one of my most important tips is optimizing your page, whatever page you're on, whether TikTok, YouTube, or Instagram. If you're trying to get a brand's attention, the first thing they're gonna do is go to your page and check you out. So you wanna make sure that your bio looks good, that your highlights are updated. If it's on Instagram, you're gonna to wanna to make sure your content is within a certain niche that the brand can immediately, when they stumble on your page, say, oh, this creator makes sense for us. It's almost like you're engaging with them and having them have that light bulb moment of, oh, we wanna work with him or her, right? You want them to have that thought process, but you're just setting it up for them. So it's a really great way to use engagement strategies to get the brands to even know you exist. And then again, they come on your page and your bio is completely optimized. Everything looks good and ready to kind of convert them into a paid client. Now, as a micro influencer, you know, I started today's video off talking about content, making content that shows the brands what you're capable of. Remember, when you are trying to get a brand's attention, it's not only for content that would be on your page, it's content that you could eventually produce for them for their pages. So a lot of times, like let's just say you created a really great piece of content um, showcasing, I don't know, like a product, you're just showing how to use it, whatever. Now the brand sees like, wow, that TikTok was really good or that YouTube or that Instagram was really good because a lot of times Instagram reels, maybe I put on TikTok and vice versa. But let's just say they're like, that Instagram reel was awesome. Like I loved how this creator did that. Then when you end up pitching to them or if they comment on your page and they're like, we love this, thanks so much. This is where you take it as an opportunity to, you know, re-pivot and re-pitch them and send them a pitch saying, hey, like I saw you commented, I'd love to work with you. And we really put in, you know, all the elements of a strong pitch to take that, like them commenting on your page and then you taking the, you know, that little bit of momentum and going for it and sending them an amazing pitch to get them into the door, right? As a paid client. Now in that mini course I was telling you guys about, I also have pitch examples where I show you like those responses that you can use. So if you are interested in like more technical like what those pitches look like definitely check out the mini course because it shows all that like how to respond and how to really pivot that pitch from them commenting on your page to you then taking it as an opportunity to pitch either influence or content or maybe both anyways guys hope you enjoyed today's video let me know what are some things that you guys do to get brands to notice you on instagram do you have any good tactics that you can share with the community if so let us know in the comments so we can all learn together and make sure you like this video uh, and i will see you guys in the next one